Welcome back to Essentials Explained. My name is Luke and this will be our second video covering index match match. If you missed the first video covering the basics, it will be linked right here above. Otherwise, we'll be using Lee's painting company as our example data set to walk through an example. Let's dive right into the content. So Lee's Paint Company has given us additional detail on the margin by product and by customer. And so they've given us this file that's organized with every single store and every single product. What I can see is for store one, selling product A, Lee's Paint Company achieves a 43% margin. And for product B, they achieve a 50% margin. What I want to do is I want to pull this into my working model. And so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over to my lookups tab, and then I'm actually just going to paste this in here. I want, let me just copy the formatting for my other lookups. And so we want to call this margin lookup. Maybe I just drag this over. And then if I cut this, I'll just paste it above. Great. So store one through 100, store or product A through F. So we have all of our information here, Oop, Madrin. Um, and so if I want to add another lookup, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to insert a column here because I want to keep my lookups together and then I'm going to keep all my calculated fields together. That is a little bit cleaner to me. Um, and I'll just make this a slightly different color so that I can identify what is the different lookup. So margin lookup. And this will be margin percent, just to be very specific. If I use an index matcher, I am going to use index, and then I'm going to get an array of what I want, which is all of these different margin numbers. This is what I want to return in my cell. I'll lock that in place, and then I'll use a match to find my row number, which are my store numbers. And so if I go back to this working data, I am going to select store 75, which is my lookup value. And then my lookup array will be my list of anonymized store numbers in my lookup table. I'll lock that in place. I want an exact match and I'll close that. That's exactly what we have done so far in this course. Next part is new. This is finding column numbers. And so I'm going to use a match. And what I want to match are my column headers, which are my different products. So if I go back to my working data, I need to select my criteria, which is my product and then select what is the range I want to look up on, which is my column headers, product A through product F, lock that in place, zero for an exact match, and close that parentheses. I'll fill this down. Maybe I just make this percentages, so control shift five will do that pretty quickly for you. And I'll do one quick check here just to make sure everything's pulling through correctly. Store six, product B is 49%, store six, Product B, 49%. Great. Um, maybe one more. 83. Product A is 57. 83. Product A, 57. Great. So now that we know that's working, wh why did we go through all the hassle of, of pulling that in? U ultimately, what we want to do is be able to say, what is our margin dollars. And so, and so what does that actually mean? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my margin percent by my revenue. Fill that down. And so what this is telling us is how much margin you've actually made on each purchase. And then the other thing you might want to look at is looking at what's your cost of goods sold. So it is really your revenue minus your margin. And if you want to do a check on this, you can take revenue minus some of these two, fill this down and it will be equal all the way. Great. So now that we have margin dollars, we have cog dollars. What we can see is we can get a little bit more specific in understanding the profitability of different products and customer groups to see how top line performance translates to bottom line profitability within your business. If you're interested in learning more about data manipulation and how to accomplish the same task without an index match match, 
please check out the next video in our series linked here. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and leave any feedback below. Thank you. Thank you.